Now, uh, these uh, sound quite uh, uh, bewildering, intimidating uh, to say the least. And uh, we, with 1.4 billion population now, I think April 14th, we're going to be, April 13th, we're going to be the largest population, uh, populated country in the world forever in the future that we can think of because China is going to drop after that. And if, you know, India is going to be that. Uh, India also prides itself on right now being the fifth largest economy and by 2030 we are expecting to be the third largest economy. Uh, and, and obviously as we catch up on uh, our average uh, per capita GDP, we are going to be you know, going to the 10 and 15 trillion uh, size. Which means we are going to be the top three players in the world which gives us uh, negotiating uh, ability and which also gives us a responsibility that we should be play be a player in this now what is the indian government in the in, you know in this space where is it the indian government with reference to you know supporting research etc on ai one second is taking uh, a, a cue from what gerd said and if we were to sort of you know mobilize humanity to come up with a you know a cooperative uh, act like the nuclear moratorium and referendum etc that we had isn't it a very, very important opportunity that India has right now to be able to sort of be that leader and probably sort of look at other countries, which are obviously smaller than India from a uh, collective bargaining point of view and become the leader to, uh, you know, start putting these limits out there? Uh, just a brief comment. And then I think we should yeah. go on, yeah? So the key question in my view is not, uh, when we look at the future, not about what is possible. The answer of that is pretty much anything is possible. Right? Can you upload your brain to the internet? You can kind of do that today if you have, but in 10 years, probably. Right? The question is not what we can do, but we, what we want. Who do we want to be? Right? And this is the key question for India, in my view. Uh, the question is what does India want to be as a country, as a people, as a, what is the nature of what you want? rather than saying this is what America or China wants. Right? Uh, and the question isn't just one of wanting revenues and growth and profit and jobs. And that, that is a trivial question. Right? The question is ultimately of the purpose, the destination, beyond all of those things. Right? So that's why I say digital India and you know, that's all nice and fine, but you can't define a country by a tool. Right? You define a country by culture, by people, by the purpose. Right? You can't say, well, Germany is, you know, Mercedes-Benz or you know, great cars or whatever. You know, that's, that's just not the future. If I think to be fit for the future, we have to decide on what we want and what does it mean and what we're going to do as a result of that. Right? And that has a lot to do with what we do with technology and how we guide it. And if we do that, then ultimately it means sitting down at the table with Europe, China, US and Africa sooner or later to hammer out what the rules are. That in my view, not having rules would be the worst case. Like Callum said, we're going to become technology if we don't have rules. And I don't want to be, I don't want my kids to be technology. 